Let's go incognito on your iPhone. Now let's first just open up the Safari app here on your iPhone. You can do this on an iPhone using Safari or Google Chrome. I'll walk you through Safari. Now you can easily get to the incognito or private browsing by tapping the two squares at the bottom right. Once you've done that, you'll see a screen that looks like this with your current tabs at the very top. And you can see at the very bottom left is private. So let's just switch over to private by tapping on it. Now it does say basically what private mode does. It doesn't keep any history or cache or anything like that. To start a new tab, you're gonna tap the plus at the bottom left, and then you're off to the races. You can do whatever you wanna do. However, if you don't see that private browsing, there's one other thing you need to do. You're gonna head into your settings here. And once you're in your settings, you're gonna scroll down until you find screen time. Most likely screen time is the culprit here. Just tap on it. And now we're gonna scroll down here and you can see content and privacy restrictions on your phone. Just tap on it. Now, if this is turned on at the very top, there could be a limiting factor on why you can't set private mode. The reason for this is where you can see the third option down in the second category, App Store, Media, Web, and Games. Tap on that. And now you'll be able to see midway down is web content, and mine is set to unrestricted. So I'm going to set, tap on that. If yours is set to only approved websites or limit adult websites, you won't be able to go to incognito mode or private mode. So you need to set this to unrestricted. However, I would also recommend just going out of here and turning this off completely. You might need the screen time passcode if there is a screen time passcode. So just enter that in. Of course, if there's a parent or somebody, you'll need to know that screen time passcode to basically enter it in. And now the next thing I would recommend doing is closing out of everything just to reset everything. Open up Safari again, and you should be able to get into that private browsing or incognito mode.